video, we're going to be in Dollar Tree. We're going to be looking at a couple of different things. First, I'm going to show you what this particular Dollar Tree have when it comes to gardening supplies left. Also, we're going to be looking at some things that Dollar Tree has that you can buy for your emergency um, stock up or bug out bag or whatever it is that you're doing you some of the supplies that you can find and then last but not least we're also going to be looking at some of the food items that you can get that you can stock up and that has long expiration dates and then at the end of this video i will be showing you guys everything that i picked up from the dollar tree so sit back and relax y'all and enjoy this video all right Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Miss Super Girl Gardening and Cool Planet and NC. I am Tamika coming at you with not an oldie but a good video. So y'all, I'm in Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and I came in here for one thing, but I see some garden stuff that they got out. So if you guys is wanting to start gardening, um, and you want to start small or whatever, and you just don't know really what to do, I'm finna show you some of the things that in Dollar Tree right now that you can come and get to start your gardening experience okay y'all so when i walked in this was the first thing i seen so they have flowers all different type of flowers um everything a dollar right here they got some little small little greenhouse things it's nothing more but the, but the little trays um the soil or nothing is in it but it's the little trays then they have these little um, I have flower rockets, but these are all flowers. So let me see. Um, they have garden gloves, these little containers. Oh, okay. So they got seeds over here, Ooh. vegetable seeds over here. So as y'all can see, ain't that many. Ain't that many. So you're going to have to decide if that's what you want to do because like I say I don't know if seeds is going to be restocked but right now you may be able to still find some of this stuff so you got like cucumbers you got beans you got um dill chives cilantro all your herbs peppers things like that and you got enough stuff to go ahead and start a garden if you want to start a garden so definitely jump on the dollar tree if that's what you look for and these seeds are four for a dollar for four dollar y'all over here they even got the little smaller um pots excuse me mm -hmm. um oh look what they got y'all they got plant labels and i'm gonna grab some of these because i needed some and remember i told you um i needed some more i said i was gonna order some from um from lowe's or home depot and come and pick it up but they got plant labels y'all will you um label you know your plants and stuff hold on y'all i see some more stuff they got so really whatever you need for your garden before this stuff is gone y'all come get it okay come get it i don't like them tomato cages and i did a review on those um this year they they not as sturdy you know but they got um the pointed shears y'all and i got a good pair of shears but i'm gonna go ahead and get another pair because you cannot never have too many. Sometimes I leave them outside or whatever. So I get too far. They only a dollar, y'all. They only a dollar. I have enough of that twine right there. And I'm gonna get a good pair of scissors for the garden. I'm gonna need this one pair. Um so yeah, y'all, they got the little pots down there. They really, really cute. Um I know what I'm gonna do with these though. Let's see, I'm gonna get one of them. I'm gonna get two. So, yeah, y'all. So that's what I'm saying. Um, make sure you check it out because you can literally start gardening for a little or nothing. Okay, you guys. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. Um. When you're doing your emergency bag or stock up or whatever, we still at the Dollar Tree. I want to show you something. Make sure you look at the price, at the not price, at the um, date. So the date on this is 4:22. Okay. So 
things like this chicken salad yes it's still a process but um i mean if this is the route you want to go if you want to stock up on stuff like this then i would say this is some things you can stock up on make sure that the expiration date i say is at least a year out or close to it um but these are some of the things that you can get from the dollar tree um over here is like bags of lentils and beans and stuff like that um so it's and everything is a dollar so it's easy to put maybe five dollars back at a time if you have to do that maybe five dollars back at a time and go ahead and you know get some stuff to put back for a rainy day or in a backpack or something like that you got your rice and all type of goodies y'all all type of goodies that you can um get like up here you got the tuna uh, let's see the expiration date on it this is by september 20 2022 so that would be good because we're in 2021 that's more than a year out so you can get things like that you don't have to spend a lot to be able to be prepared to some extent you know something is better than nothing so i wanted to show you guys you know your food options to come and check out make sure you look at the date your food options um also i already grabbed some stuff and um i'll show you guys what i have grabbed later but while we in here i'm gonna go on the aisle um this aisle right here so you got your duct tape, your major, um, your tape measure, tools, different things like here. You got these bungee cards that you can put in a bug out bag because you may need to pull somebody up or anything like that. Um, just make sure y'all check. You got zip ties. Y'all know those can be used for almost anything. Um, just make sure y'all go to like your Dollar Tree and check for simple stuff. Now, y'all know some things you just ain't gonna buy at the Dollar Tree, like me. Like some things I would just spend the, the money for to get, especially like um, ornaments and stuff like that. Like over here, they have like triple ornament and stuff like that. If you is okay with using that, then hey, it's here. Me, I rather just go and get the hydrocortisone cream and stuff like that, like the real version, because I don't want to have anything that I possibly could have a skin reaction to in the middle of a disaster. So, um, there's a lot of different things that you can get. They have bandages, these Alaska bandages, earplugs, a um, whole lot of different stuff, y'all. Um, and I'm going to show you what I end up picking up um, in this video. Um, but yeah, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that it is here at the Dollar Tree. So, so like I say, everything you won't pick up here. Everything you will not pick up here. I mean, some stuff I do not use their brand. Some stuff is just not strong enough or whatever. But yeah, y'all. Okay, you guys, so I am back from the Dollar Tree, of course, and I'm going to show you guys what I got. So there's no random order. I'll just tell you what category it falls in um, as we take this, this stuff out. All right. So the first bag, um, I picked up the earbuds. So I'm going to put these for in our emergency kit and stuff. And my husband, um, it'll go in me, me and my bag and one in my husband's bag. Just so we have extra. Um, my husband, um, because he has, uh, what is it? Sensitive, like, um, what's the word to it? He, he had issues, uh, well, not issues, but um he don't like to hear like certain sounds or loud noises and stuff like that i lost track of words trying to get to what i was saying and i do know um he used earplugs a lot especially um 
um, in his mil during his military time. He used earplugs a lot. So I was like, I'm going to get these because you never know where you be at, if it's loud or whatever, and have some earplugs um, because you have to, you know, kind of look at everything. Uh, so next I picked up three of these elastic support bandages. Um, and these are just an elastic bandage. And I got, I don't care about the color too much. Uh, I thought I had got another idea. I got four of these. So these are good to have in case you have to wrap up something. Then I got some band-aids. Got um, these right here, peanuts. <laughs> um, just something, you know, these are going to kids thing in case they have a cut or something like that. Um, and then I got some of these um, extra large plastic bandages. I feel like you can't have too many bandages because in an emergency situation or whatever, you want to keep everything clean as possible. Also, they have this paper tape. So I picked up some of that. Then I picked up two of these gentle tape. Um, and I will uh, put some pictures at the end of this video. When I close out the video, just stay tuned for the end for some of the pictures that I did take. That way you can you can see kind of like where it where it's located and the different options that they have in case I move too fast when I was showing you the owls. Um, so I will put little clips of pictures at the end of this video. All right, y'all. So now I um, got these gall pads. Picked up some of the gall pads. And you also can use like um, feminine pads for bandages too. So keep that in mind. Those are, it's so many options, so many ways. So I picked up some of these. Now, normally I keep these in each vehicle. Uh, one in my car and one in his car. And I've been doing that for years. Um, make sure it's updated and stuff like that. But um, got some of these kits. Now you can make your own first aid kit. Um, put everything you need in one thing. We have a big first aid kit. Um, but I just went on to pick these up because I feel like, you know, can't have, never have too, too much of this. And you get eight sheer bandages, four sh sheer bandages, two, well, they all sheer bandages, but they different size. Then you get two of the little small ones. I'm going to show you see if y'all can see the type of bandages like the sizes that comes in the in this and you get two alcohol preps and you get two galls so then I picked up some electrical tape because we always try to keep electrical tape around no matter what um also another tape major um we got some here at the house so I just picked up another one now right here y'all I saw this and if y'all been following me, y'all know I used to sew. I used to make my own pillow. When I tell y'all things that I have done, and I, you can go back to like a couple years back and see that I did it um, in a video. Um, I do know how to sew. Um, that was just another thing growing up. Sewing was everything, uh, whether it's by hand or with the sewing machine. I got rid of my sewing machine about a year ago. Um, but yeah, so I picked up these now these are baby blankets baby blankets in the dollar tree they are baby fleece blankets and they are kind of thick there are so many things that you can use this for in an emergency situation not needing to cover up but another idea that you can do you can take a couple of these and sew them together to make a bigger blanket um or anything like that but you can use this in so many different ways y'all you have to get real creative and these are baby fleece blankets and they are only a dollar so I got this one I got this one um, and I'm gonna put let me see this one I'm gonna put in my husband's backpack the gray one um, this one's probably gonna be in my backpack one of these in the girls backpack my son's backpack and my other daughter backpack. So, yeah. So keep that in mind, y'all. That's in the baby section. Also in the baby section, I picked up two packs of these washcloths. Baby washcloths. Again, so much 
is three packs for a dollar. No, four pack, four, four of them for a dollar. You can use this. Um, I was watching um, Landformer seventy three uh, video the other day. Um, well, last night for last, something like that. I was watching his video, and when he bugged out outside, and he didn't have, um, he was trying to pick it up and didn't have no mittens. And when I got, when I saw these, I thought about it. I was like, you can either fold this and use this if something is hot, if you're cooking or whatever. Or you can get your men or whatever. But it's so many different ways you can use this. I don't have no small baby. But the fleece blanket and the washcloth came in handy, all right? Um, then I picked up, um, I think I got some of these. I think I picked some of these up before. But just some small little pots. Uh, flower pots. I'm gonna do something else. So that's part of gardening stuff. <laughs> so, um, and then I got another one. Like I say, this is part of my gardening stuff. Um, so I picked up. I got this right here. Now, y'all know I try to do the healthy way. But if some of you looking for this type of stuff, I found these two things at the Dollar Tree. So they expire. Um. June 14th this year, 21. Um, so you can get these and if you want to like use them for now, for everyday usage. I don't prefer these for long term because of their expiration date. And this one has cheese in it. It's cheese, sunflower kernels, um, and a smoky jerky stick. Um, and this one has turkey jerky, sunflower kernels, and dried cranberries. But the expiration date is not big. But if you want to get these and you want to update these like every six months or whatever, or every couple of months, then you can do something like that. Um, something that I did find, my kids love these a lot. These are quick to go for their lunches during the day um, with maybe a fruit cup um, and something else on the side. Um, but this is the, they have the tuna, they have the chicken, and I just saw they have a ham salad one. We don't do beef and pork. So, I got the I get the chicken one for them. Um, but these can definitely go into a emergency kit or a bug out bag. These expire April 2022. April 2022 is when these expire, okay? So, um keep that in mind, y'all. Keep that in mind. So, um you can't beat that, you know. So, Keep this in mind if you want some of these. Um, next, oh, I got some corn and some carrots. Y'all will see that this is for a whole nother video. <laughs> whole nother video, but I did pick those up. Um, oh, this is something. I had one in my bug out bag, but we ended up taking it out to use it at home for something. Can't remember what it was, but um, this is just a little sewing kit you never know what you may have to sew you may have to stitch yourself you just don't know you may have to stitch some blankets together to make some, you just don't know so it has the needle um tape measure safety pin straight pin thimble um thread spool assorted buttons needle threader and needle compact so it's got everything you need in it and we are definitely putting this in our bug out bag okay um All right. So next, I saw this. It's another item for a bug out bag. It is some ice packs. So this are ice packs. So you just never know. You never know. You don't have to be out in the wilderness or something. You may have a, a storm or something and have to go to a hotel. And you may trip and fall or something, anything. And you need an ice pack. Um, And these are reusable. Sue's brew this bruises swelling soreness and pain and all that ice pack reusable ice packs at the dollar tree all right so then i picked up some of these beef jerkies they will go in our uh, emergency food thing um it says these don't expire until february 17th of next year all right so we got hurricane season coming up I'm going to put these in our emergency food supply in the back. I don't eat beef jerky, but my husband do. So, 
Um, next, I picked up this Twisted Poly Rope card. You may have to pull somebody or anything. I was going to get some of those little cables to go with it, but we got some here. So this is a rope. They had all type of ropes. You'll see that in a picture at the end of this video. But they had, they got all different type of rope, bungee cards and everything, y'all. So, and when you get them, you need to test and make sure that they are strong. Because like I say, not everything you want to buy from the Dollar Tree, but there are some things that you do want to buy. Then I got lighters, 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 lighters. Um, easy to start a fire. Yeah. Easy to start a fire. <laughs> um, so I got two packs of lighters. I'm going to have to put them in my thing. Um, because if not, hubby may borrow one, borrow one, borrow one. Because I do not smoke cigarettes, but he does. So he'll be the only one in the house using lighters. Because I use my longer lighters for my to light my candles. Like the, the, light, the big stick lighter thingy. I use those. So I'm going to put these up because these are for emergency purposes only. <laughs> But I know if he if he lose his or something, he can grab one and I'll just replace it. Just you know, plan y'all. Um, so this is more garden items. So I did stock stack up on some of the plant labels. Um, because I need some, I need some, I need some. I didn't even finish my little planner thing out there because I needed some more labels. And they are only a dollar that beats me from paying two, three dollars from Lowe's and Home Depot. Because that's why I was getting them from last year, y'all. So, I got like five packs of them. Dollar Tree, y'all. <sighs> Alright. These shears. I already have a good pair of shears. But I saw these. I've never seen these at the Dollar Tree until now. So, I picked up two more things of shears. Oh, I got another thing of labels. So that's six packs. Um... And I picked up some flowers, some some floral um scissors. So yeah, that'll go for the garden items. All right, the last bag. Oh, it just got some random in it. These were some honey buns I got picked up for the kids. Um, some sardines and soybean oil that I ate. Uh, I had two of these. I ate one when I got back to the house. That wasn't a good idea on an empty stomach. I normally try to put a, a applesauce or a jello um, down first in the mornings, or either some fruit in the mornings before I eat something heavier. And this morning, I decided I don't know why to eat this first thing this morning. And trust me, I'm feeling the reflux now, which I'm gonna have to take an indigestion pill when I end this video. I knew not to do it. I tried it. And it is telling me, like, chick, yeah, you tried it. You're right. You tried it. You tried it. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and this is just another uh, one of those things. So, um, the only thing you didn't see was I bought two packs of little headphone things. Um, so, because I have, like, my Bluetooth. But sometimes when we're driving, um, it'll go dead because I love music. And these are, just, like, my little backup. I don't have to charge them. And then I can just put them into my phone. Um yeah because i mean especially when when a hubby is driving i like for him to listen to his music and normally we listen to a lot of country music in the car but um sometimes i'll be feeling i'll be wanting to listen to my to my art my r&b my back home music my back home artists when it comes to r&b and soul and stuff so i'll just put on my thing if, if that's the case um so also, I want to say if you're not if you're not on my Instagram because I'm gonna start doing live music, um, um, talks or whatever on my Instagram page. So my Instagram page is Mississippi Girl Gardening N C, just N the the letter N and C, the letter C. So it's Mississippi Girl Gardening N C. So um, and it's all one word, all lowercase. Mississippi girl gardening in C. So, um, and I should pull up. So I I start just doing little things where we can talk, um, and stuff like that, and listen to music, and I don't have to worry about you know getting a copyright or anything like that because I can't do it over here. So with that being said, like I said at the end of this video, I am going to put some. Um, when I close this out at the, after this, I'm going to be putting some um, pictures of some of the shelves and some things that 
was at the Dollar Tree. But I hope this was helpful to you, get you a little insights on what you can pick up from the Dollar Tree. Remember, not everything needs to be gotten at the Dollar Tree if you want it to last. These are just some items that you can look at um, and see if they works for you and your budget. Something is better than nothing. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Hit that notification bell so you be notified each and every time that your girl upload a video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Until next time, y'all. Happy gardening. Happy emergency stock fly be prepared and all that good stuff y'all be safe y'all bye